Welcome back guys and welcome to my entry to the Monster Smash 2021 challenge. This is a cocktail challenge by myself, Vino and David, and we just want to thank everyone who has participated so far in the challenge. Monster Smash 2021 challenge. Monster Smash 2021. <laughs> the Monster Smash challenge. Monster Smash 2021. Of the Monster Smash 2021. Hashtag Monster Smash 2021. Monster Smash 2021 challenge. 2021 Monster Smash. A lot of great drinks, great submissions. Uh, click the link in the description and you can check out all the other submissions. So I wanted to challenge myself to make a drink using uh, this new Pachin that I got. Pachin is a uh, traditional Irish style moonshine and I really wanted to, to use it in my drink submission. So I'm calling this drink Slay the Beast because it is potent and we are gonna slay that beast. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're using a local pachin. This is made in Ottawa, Canada by Ogham Distillery. We're also using dragon fruit, which is surprisingly a mild fruit, but it actually does come out um, in this drink. And um, to that, I'm also gonna use some Luxardo Maraschino and some Cointreau. So, before we start, we do need to do a little prep on our glassware. Got this nice goblet here, and we're gonna apply some fake blood to the outside of the goblet. This is, of course, um, edible fake blood. It's actually just grenadine thickened with corn syrup. Don't use store-bought fake blood, because it's probably toxic. All right, let's start building the drink. Part of our challenge rules, we gotta use a, a herb. So I am using some sage. I'm gonna drop about I don't know, three, five, six leaves. After that, I'm using a nice big slice of white dragon fruit. Uh, you can get a, a red or pink variety of dragon fruit, but in order to create a contrast with our bloody glass, I wanted to keep the drink, um, all the ingredients clear. So that's why I'm using the white uh, dragon fruit. To that, we're also gonna add a half an ounce of simple syrup. And after that, we're going to muddle the fruit. This is why it's called a smash, because we're smashing all those ingredients together. We've got the sage in the bottom. It's gonna release some nice um, savory aromatics. And we've got the dragon fruit that has a nice kind of um, perfumey sweetness to it. After that, we're gonna add some lemon juice, three quarter ounce. We've got half an ounce of Cointreau. You can use a triple sec, but again, I wanted to keep all the ingredients clear, so I'm not using a Grand Marnier or something like that. All right, before we get to the pachin, the last ingredient we're going to throw in will be Luxardo Maraschino. This is actually a last addition when I first tried out the drink. It was missing something, and the Maraschino brings this nice uh, brightness and freshness to it, which really made the drink pop. So... Half ounce of maraschino. And finally, an ounce and a half of our pachin. So this stuff is basically moonshine. Um, it's very potent. It's got a really robust taste to it. Um, definitely an acquired taste, but it's good. And I'm hoping that all these flavors will just, will just um, play well with the pachin, will really complement the pachin. And uh, let's see how we do. Come on, cork. It's got spider webs all over it. This time of year, my bar gets all full of cobwebs. I don't know why. <laughs> all right, it's time to shake. So we're gonna add some ice to our tin. All right, do a flippy move. And give her a good shake for 15, 20 seconds. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Rob IMX. By the way, lots of great uh, submissions to the challenge on Instagram. So go check out those guys. Hashtag works there too. All right, so let's retrieve our bloody goblet from the freezer. We're gonna double strain this because we've got muddled fruit, we got herb, we got the dragon fruit, there's a bunch of seeds. We don't want that in the drink. So definitely double strain. And when you have a, um, a smash like this, it takes a while to strain. You use the, um, use the tin to tap the side of the, of the tea strainer. Just extract all the liquid you can and leave all that pulp and stuff behind. Looking good. 
All right, every last bit. Excellent. For garnish, we've got, we cut off one of the little prongs or spikes from the dragon fruit. And since we've slain the beast, we need to garnish with the teeth of the beast as our trophy, of course. There it is, guys. Slay the Beast, my submission to the Monster Smash 2021 challenge. This is a refreshing but very potent, robust um, Pachin based cocktail. Um, definitely, if you have Pachin, give this a try. If you can find it, or you can use a Moonshine too if you'd like. And um, cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And then check out all the other Monster Smash 2021 uh, contest submissions. The link is below. We'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. Cheers.